Whatever they do, some people just can't concentrate long enough while studying. They can't remember their lessons, or they're just not in the right mindset to do their homework, and that can be really annoying. I was often like this when I was younger. In fact, my parents almost gave up on trying to make me do my homework. My most common excuse was that it was never a good time physically and mentally. As time passed, I found out that any amount of homework was easier to handle if I listened to music. So I would always put music in my background while working. So this behavior got me thinking, if it really works for me, shouldn't it work for other persons? And do we really know what's happening in our brain while listening to music? Our brain is separated in two hemispheres. The right side, which works with feelings, emotion, the creative part, and the left side, which works with language, logic, facts. Here's a picture of two brains. One is at rest, and the other one is listening to music. The more red there is, the more the brain is working. As you can see by the red spot, the right brain is being stimulated by music, showing us its effect on our brain. According to the researchers Robin Wilkins and Matchtin, listening to music activates both sides of our brain. And this activation maximizes learning and improves memory. It can also reduce anxiety. So it's official. Your favorite tune can reduce anxiety as much as a massage. Two other researchers, Janina Lehmann and Tina Suffer, recruited university students and made half of them listen to music while studying and the other half studied in silence. They wanted to see the effect of music on our memory. And guess what? The students who worked with music were more able to retain their lessons. Based on these scientific facts, you need to choose an appropriate music for what you're doing because there's a certain type of music for a certain type of task. Choose a tune that will keep you awake but won't cause you to stop tapping your body to the beat. If you want to study, choose classical music. If you want to be less stressed and more relaxed before a test, for example, put on nature sound. But if you want to be more concentrated and study for a longer time, well, put on electronic music. For those who don't like any calm or classical music, you can still, pull, you can still put on some. You can still put on some other music, but without lyrics and keep it low because it's supposed to, sell, to stay in the background. Music is so powerful that you can also use it somewhere else than in studying. It can improve your sports skills. It has been shown that if the athlete has the same movement as the music, like in the rhythm of the music, it can postpone fatigue and, act and maximize his sports movement. You can also use music to help you get asleep. The only problem is how to turn the music off when you're asleep. Music is so powerful that it can change your mood and your perception. If you listen to happy or sad music, it can change both of them. So if there's any teachers here, if a student asks you, can I play some music to do my homeworks? Don't directly say no, but ask which type of music, because it can actually help them. And students, if you're in front of an amount of homework composed of math, history, language, well, you just can't concentrate, but breathe in, calm down, and put on music. Thank you.